Uh, did you know that the last time a guillotine was used in France, Star Wars was already out in theatres? Yes, you heard it right. In the same year that we were marvelling at the futuristic world of Star Wars, France was still employing a method of execution that seems to belong more to the age of the French Revolution than the late 20th century. It's strange to think that while audiences were being captivated by lightsabers and interstellar travel, the guillotine, a chilling symbol of a bygone era, was not yet consigned to history. The year was 1977, a year that simultaneously encapsulated the old and the new, the past and the future. Imagine watching Star Wars and then hearing about a guillotine execution. Quite a contrast, isn't it? Picture this, while the ancient Egyptians were building the Great Pyramids, woolly mammoths were still roaming the earth. That's right, folks. The marvels of ancient architecture and the icons of the Ice Age were contemporaries. Now let's dive a bit deeper into this mind-boggling fact. The construction of the Great Pyramids, particularly the Pyramid of Khufu, is believed to have taken place around 4,500 years ago during the reign of Pharaoh Khufu. This was during the period known as the Old Kingdom of Egypt, a time of grandeur and architectural innovation. Meanwhile, thousands of miles away in the frigid expanses of the Arctic, the woolly mammoths were living their tusked lives. These mammoths, famous for their long, curved tusks and shaggy coats, are typically associated with the Ice Age, a period that ended around 10,000 years ago. But here's where our perception of time gets a little wonky. Despite the Ice Age ending thousands of years before the construction of the pyramids, not all mammoths went extinct at the same time. A small population of woolly mammoths managed to survive on Wrangell Island, a remote Arctic refuge until around 4,000 years ago. Yes, you heard it right. The woolly mammoths were still plodding around in the snow while the Egyptians were hauling limestone to build one of the seven wonders of the world. We often think of history as a series of distinct eras, one following the other in a neat linear sequence, but the reality is often much more complex and intertwined. And there you have it, a little wrinkle in our understanding of time. The same sun that beat down on the workers toiling away at the pyramids also rose over the last woolly mammoths, grazing on arctic grasses. So, the Egyptians could have had a mammoth for a pet while they were building those pyramids. Ever thought about how old the oldest tree might be? Some trees were already a thousand years old when the first pyramid was built. Now, let's take a moment to ponder over the lifespans of trees. Picture a tree standing tall and sturdy. Every ring on its trunk, every leaf on its branches, every root burrowing deep into the soil is a testament to its age. What if I told you that some trees on our planet have been around for thousands of years, their lifespans stretching far beyond our comprehension? Imagine a tree that was already a thousand years old when the first pyramid was built. Yes, you heard it right. When the ancient Egyptians were laying the first stone of the Great Pyramid of Giza, there were trees on Earth that had already seen a millennium pass by. These ancient trees have silently witnessed the rise and fall of civilizations, the birth of new ideas and the evolution of our world. One such tree is Methuselah, a bristlecone pine, located in the White Mountains of California. This ancient being is estimated to be over 4,800 years old. To put this into perspective, when Methuselah sprouted from the Earth, Stonehenge was still under construction. Another venerable organism is the Jerupa oak tree found in Riverside, California. This hardy tree is estimated to be around 13,000 years old. It was already well into its life when the last ice age was coming to an end. These trees, older than most historical landmarks, are living reminders of our planet's long history. They stand as silent witnesses to the relentless march of time, their existence challenging our sense of time and history. So, the next time you're out for a walk and you see a tree, take a moment to appreciate it. Think of the history it has seen, the secrets it might hold. Every tree has a story to tell, if only we take the time to listen. Next time you see a tree, just imagine the history it has silently witnessed. Believe it or not, fax machines were invented the same year people were traveling the Oregon Trail. Now that's a piece of history that can truly mess with your sense of time. 
In the year of 1843, while pioneers were braving the wild frontier, crossing mountains, rivers and plains, a Scottish inventor named Alexander Bain was busy patenting the first fax machine. The astonishing contrast between the two events is almost hard to comprehend. On one hand, we had the Oregon Trail, a 2,000-mile route that stretched from Missouri to Oregon's fertile Willamette Valley. It was an arduous journey that took pioneers up to six long months to complete. They faced harsh weather conditions, disease, and the ever-present threat of starvation, a daring adventure that demanded grit, determination, and a strong will to survive. Meanwhile, across the Atlantic, Bain was working on a groundbreaking invention that would revolutionize the way we communicate. His fax machine, or as he called it, the chemical telegraph, was capable of reproducing writing on electrically sensitive paper. This was a leap forward in technology that brought the world closer together, making it possible to send documents across vast distances in mere minutes. Imagine, if you will, a world where the click-clack of a Morse code telegraph was the height of communication technology. Amidst this, Bain's invention must have seemed almost magical, a harbinger of the future where information could be transmitted instantaneously. The juxtaposition of these two events happening in the same year is truly fascinating. It was a time of great change with the world standing on the precipice of the modern era. The pioneers on the Oregon Trail and Bain with his fax machine were all part of this seismic shift, each in their own unique way. So while some were sending faxes, others were braving the wild frontier. A stark reminder that progress and innovation can occur simultaneously in vastly different spheres of human endeavor. In 2020, the last known widow of a Civil War veteran passed away. Yes, you heard that right, 2020. Now let's sit with that for a moment. The Civil War, a conflict that has been etched into the annals of American history, a war fought in the mid-19th century, with its last living connection severed only in the year 2020. Quite a head-spinning fact, isn't it? Her name was Helen Viola Jackson. Born in 1919, she married a Civil War veteran, James Bolin, in 1936, when she was just 17 and he was 93. Bolin, a widower, asked Helen to assist him in his day-to-day -day activities, as he didn't have the means to pay for a housekeeper. In return, he offered to marry her to ensure that she would receive his union pension after his passing. A deal struck out of necessity with no romance involved. For decades, Helen kept her marriage a secret, only revealing it to a few close confidants. She never claimed Bolin's pension, and it wasn't until late in her life that she began sharing her unique story publicly. Her marriage certificate was discovered in 2017, validating her claim and making her the last known widow of a Civil War veteran. This is more than just a surprising trivia tidbit. It's a stark reminder of how our sense of time can be fooled. The Civil War, often perceived as a distant event, tucked away in history textbooks, was actually within the living memory of a person who was among us just a couple of years ago. It's a testament to the endurance of human life and the strange, intricate webs it weaves across the years. And just like that, a living link to the Civil War was gone in 2020. But her story, a fascinating blend of history and humanity, will continue to challenge our perception of time, reminding us that the past is often closer than we think. Human history as we know it is shorter than we think. If we compress the Earth's lifespan into 24 hours, human history would be shorter than a blink of an eye. Now let's paint a picture here. Imagine a timeline, vast and sprawling, stretching out as far as the eye can see. This timeline represents the history of our planet, Earth. It's a timeline that spans over four and a half billion years. It's a timeline filled with the birth and extinction of species, the formation of continents, and the evolution of life as we know it. Now, among this vast expanse, where do you think human history fits in? A millennium here, a century there, surely that must count for something, right? But when we zoom out our entire history, all our triumphs and tragedies, every human to have ever lived and died fits into a tiny, almost insignificant fraction of this timeline. If we were to scale Earth's history down to a single day, all of human history would fit into the last two seconds before midnight. That's right. 
two seconds, in the grand timeline of our planet, we're newcomers, late arrivals to a party that's been going on for billions of years. It's a humbling thought, isn't it? That our empires, our wars, our art, our science, our entire collective memory is barely a blip in the grand scale of Earth's history. It challenges our sense of time, our sense of importance, our place in the universe. But it's not a cause for despair. It's a reminder to cherish our time, to appreciate the beauty and wonder of our existence. It's a call to make the most of our brief moment in the sun, to strive for a future where our impact lasts longer than our time. So, in the grand scheme of things, we've only just arrived. After learning all these facts, one can't help but wonder, how can our sense of time be so easily distorted? We've journeyed through history together, from the unexpected connection between the woolly mammoths and the pyramids to the mind-boggling lifespan of trees. We've explored the startling invention of fax machines, long before they were a fixture in our offices, and marvelled at the existence of the last widow of a Civil War veteran, a living link to a bygone era. We've even grappled with the shortness of human history itself, compared to the vast expanse of geological time. These facts, these glimpses into our past, have a curious way of skewing our perception of making us feel both incredibly young and impossibly old at the same time. How does knowing these facts change your perception of time? Perhaps it's time to rethink our place in history, don't you think?